we're about to do something that I've always wanted to do to drive out on the lake and just make a hockey rink so let's do it you know in the summertime people are boating and swimming here and uh, in the winter you can just drive your car across it to some people the, the thought of driving on water like dr we're driving on a lake this the Santa Cruz is just on ice this ice is so thick we could probably have like 30 cars out here but there's also something else pretty crazy out here and that is a racetrack Give it a quick rip, find a rink. Oh, it's a little bumpy here. Oh. Hope Hyundai has good insurance. Thanks for letting me use the Santa Cruz. Oh. The traction's too good on here. I can't even slide. You want to plop her right in the middle? Right in a there. decent spot. Okay, well, here's our hockey rink. Let's, uh, let's go see what we're working with. Not feeling too good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> you're not gonna have a second career as a race car driver, right? Yeah? Well, not when you're driving. <laughs> oh, come on! Got the twig out. So the thing with being out on the lake is there is a rare window, maybe once every like 10 or 15 years, where it's actually frozen with no snow on it. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh my right, so this is that, this is why you can't just skate across the whole lake, yeah. which would be a dream. It's, uh, it's pretty rough ice; like you couldn't even skate on that. The snow falls on it; it gets warm, it freezes. The snow some more; it doesn't create perfect ice underneath. So even after you clear it, you still got to flood it. Let's see, we got loaded up in here. bucket. So we could do it the old-fashioned way. That's a uh, Chopping a hole in the ice with an axe. And you take the old heel toe express, dump, dump, dump. <laughs> we take some time. We did get this. That is a uh, there it is, a pump to hook up to the battery and pump the water out. And can clear the snow the old fashioned way with a shovel. I do happen to have a, there it is, a oh, snow yeah. blower. Oh, and here comes my brother. On this ice. That's what I was saying. I was ripping around. I got traction control turned on. We got this pump. You can hook it up to the battery of the car. Hey. Yeah, we'll try that. Out. My suggestion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before we get started, we were well aware that there was a hockey rink right over there that we could have skated on, but that's not the point of this video. We are here for the experience. Pretty crusty down there. <laughs> If you want to do it quick, you have to get rid of all the snow, get it right on the ice, scrape it, yeah. flood it quick. But the easier way is just to douse it with water and then do that like, you know, a few days in a row. I'd get that pump that could pump like 30,000 liters an hour. And just drench the snow. <laughs> and then wait a few hours, drench it again, wait a few hours, drench it again, and there you go. This battery's dead. Uh, I grabbed an extra one. Mystery flavor. Let's see what we got today. Ooh, mixed berry. There you go, right? What's great with the coffee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mix it 50 50. That one I should have brought Doug's Honda snowblower. We were oh, gas car. I already saw oh, it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are ripping. The one guy's doing like, really? Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't think we're going to do a full rink. We'll do a small one. Between the snow blowing, the shoveling, the scraping, the flooding, and waiting for the water to freeze, it would take a long time to build a full-size rink. And we're here for the experience, so we're gonna do a small rink. Let's get going. Biosteel snow cone. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Definitely need to shovel like this, different types of shovels, right? You wouldn't want that long scraper. Yeah. Too heavy, you want something sm small, so it's like manageable to get like a scoop and throw. Report. The thing with a rink is the bigger you make your rink, the more intensive the maintenance is. So something small like this, manageable. Right. Something like you want to play a game of hockey with a bunch of guys on, it just it just add the hours to the flooding and the shoveling. Okay, we've cleared the snow off the ice. Time to go for a skate, right? Not quite. Get down, get down here with me. Even though 
it's cleared off, uh, can't really skate on it. That would be the equivalent to like skating on concrete. See, it's all like pitted and like, bumpy and stuff. So I'd say a few floods should get us something we can skate on. Oh, look, Ryan's got the chipper. Oh, uh, this thing's awesome. We want our ice to be as smooth as possible, so a tool like this is great for knocking off all this crust and taking down any high spots before we put that water on. And speaking of putting some water on, let's go drill a hole. How thick do you guys think it is? I'm guessing like a foot and a half. Let's say about yay deep. <laughs> you can only That's measure like a in non-standard uh, yeah. <laughs> measurements. About a, a bread basket, six stones and three pebbles. This is my first time uh, using a pump like this. You can literally only pump things if you have a, a vehicle nearby. And it's not submersible either, so don't get it wet. Pump will be extremely loud when water is no longer pumped. <laughs> Unplug immediately! Why are you yelling at me? I bet they get some interesting customer service calls. I understand how this works. Water goes in there, it comes out there. We don't want a water hole too close to the vehicle just in case um, it sinks. Good news, we got some great footage. Bad news, <laughs> we don't have the vehicle. <laughs> well, the bad news is I'm gonna have to return the vehicle a little bit later, maybe in the spring, summer, depends when the ice comes off the lake. You got right. four wheel drive, right? Yeah. Yeah, show off the Santa Cruz, all man. Right, right. Show what, you, you ever see the commercials? You know, drive. They drive all over this place. <laughs> you need two inches more? You always wanted two inches more, huh? All right, when in doubt, glassing out. <laughs> it works. Good spot. Well, the see that? See Wait. in ten years when you melt through the ice with your finger. Come on, I'm already halfway there. Fifteen inches. Fifteen inches. Yeah. I'm saying uh, the price is right rules. <laughs> no, no. Fourteen. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> Fourteen point one. <laughs> Yeah. Right, right. Wow. Oh, that's like another oh. layer. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah. There's so no that's way that's all. Yeah. So so that's one or two inches. That's a weekly there is right. just, just the top a like, crust, a yeah. frozen crust. Jeez. Not actual. What can we pump it? Now we gotta find out how deep it is, though. Damn, what was here about in inches? Oh. Because uh, I did 15, he did 14. I was gonna say I'm a gone. foot and a half, so that'd be 18. Yeah. Well, you're, you're already probably a foot and a half. Yeah, I'm feeling that. We're through. Hey. Oh man, we should have brought some ice fishing rods. Now, how are we gonna check how deep it is? You're gonna reach down. Of course I am. <laughs> yeah, I can feel like there's a slush under there. Right. Yeah, so, and then, that's the bottom right there, so. Elbow, elbow deep. I'd say that's like, like a foot and a little bit. Hold on. Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> you guys want to uh, go for a swim? Okay, tell me how deep it is. This lake actually has two layers of ice. There's a top layer right here, about two inches deep. And if you go down further, there's a layer of water right there. The layer on the top was formed by snow that melted with warm weather and then froze again. But if we go back down, we can find the original lake ice. You can see it's much thicker. It's got that clear, thick ice, and that's what's supporting the vehicle, the Santa Cruz, to drive on. Now we got a nice cooler. There you go. It doesn't really look like there's ice, but watch this. And... Smash! Get out of my neighborhood! Oh, Brady! <laughs> What the heck? Right. See ya. Right. This is our teammate, Brady Leavold, absolute beauty and the founder of Puck Support. Yeah, Puck Support, igniting change in mental health and addiction by setting the hockey world in motion, honoring those we have lost. No, I just wanted to bring you guys by some hats uh, from Puck Support. Because give them out, wear them, whatever you want to do. Nice toques, keep the ears warm. Okay, you guys have a good day. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Awesome. Good to keep see you. Up. If you want to learn more about Brady and Puck Support, we've got the Instagram handle right here. But we got to get back to scraping this ice, and we're going to get some water on it. This was me and Ryan's job back in the day. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, except we cleared off like a 100 foot by 200 foot yeah, section. That's like with shovels, no snow yeah. blowers. <laughs> we were just uh, pushing the water with the shovels. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's the only time I've ever had frostbite on my toes. Yeah. My toes went all like, like there was little like indent holes, like they went all white. Like the next day, and then they were all pussy and like, yeah, it was nasty. Cool story, Ryan. Now let's see if we can get this pump going. Now we get to test the flow rate on this thing. I'm hoping that it pushes some uh, steady water. Something to it. Yeah, that's good. It's 
The problem with the pump is it's not pumping. Shoot. Hayden suggested we buy this one. <laughs> Don't blame me. Oh. While Hayden and I try to figure out the pump, Ryan has a different idea. You do it the old fashioned way, right? Do it the old fashioned way. Drill a bigger hole. Okay, four buckets, so one in each quadrant. That's what I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. See, the snow, though, will take up a lot of it. That's the problem. Yeah. All right, ready? <laughs> <laughs> I think we do a few more than four. You spread it thin, it freezes a lot faster, and you can put on more layers, you can build up your uh, ice surface better. Hey Ryan, how's your hole? Trying to make it big enough that we can fit a five gallon bucket down it. Right. Right. Or so you can just go for a single like pencil dive right in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan figured it would be a lot more efficient if we had a bigger ice hole, so he made one that could fit the five gallon bucket in. Yeah, there you go. There you get stuff done. Now we're talking. Oh yeah. We're gonna give the pump one last try, just, just we, because. Because we, you know, we got it from took the it out store. of the box, and you might as well try. Exactly, we gotta get it to work. <laughs> oh yeah, don't put it on. Whoa! <laughs> 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 With a combination of shoveling, scraping, and bucket dumps, we were making good progress on the rink. To finish it off, we used the homemade PVC pipe flutter with a towel behind it. We take a break, let it freeze, then repeat the process. It's warmed up a lot. It's actually really nice out here. Yeah. But we do have some low spots. Looks like a sled went by there. You can see I throw this down. There's a quick little ice repair trick. Throw some snow in there and pack it down. And smooth it out. That will freeze a lot faster than if we just left straight water. And then I'm just scraping, there's like, there's still ripples. You know, uh, hit it with that. Just taking the high spot. Yeah. It's pop, it's like popcorn. <laughs> See, good ice, it just doesn't happen. It has to be made, you gotta put the work in. Can we just appreciate the scenery too? Oh yeah. Like, beautiful. So getting close to 5 p.m., the sun is setting and it's time to test out the ice and uh, I can tell it will not be perfect, but it'll be skatable. It'll be better than how we found it. Uh, yeah, it just goes to show how much it takes to get good ice. We drove the Santa Cruz out to the middle of a lake covered in snow without knowing what the ice would look like underneath and the boys came together to create our own little piece of paradise. And the ice might not be perfect, but you'll often find that true happiness isn't found at the destination, but the journey it took to get you there. First skate. Satisfying, nice click. Oh yeah. Working on our small area passes. It may just be a tiny rink on the lake, but it's our tiny rink on the lake. Oh, ah, threads the needle. Woo. You'll often find that limitations lead to innovations, and that was the case here. We had a small chunk of ice, but we created our own game. Whoever gets it in gets to choose who goes in the ice hole. I bring to you ice golf. Oh, I was just a little. Ooh. Oh! Get out of the way! I think we need a bigger hole. Go in that hole. Come on! Then you double when you get two. Oh, two. Okay, okay. Oh! oh three points, it's the winner! Wait. Suck it! <laughs> Can you tell that my brother is super competitive? So the ice wasn't perfect, but it was still a fun adventure. It was, uh, you know, worth trying out. And you know what? I think to end this video, you gotta do something a little different. Let me get these skates off. What is this guy doing? Well, I thought we'd uh, end this video a little differently. I've always wanted to do a cold plunge. And uh, can't just leave this beautiful, watery, chilly hole. This dark plasm it's actually chasm a little, of, of coldness. It's a little scary, actually, to get in there. I just left my gloves and I don't want to get my hands cold, you know? You know hot ones? Yeah. Eat the hot wings. Well, this is the Canadian versus cold ones. I have to finish the video without messing up my line. One take. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I've never done this before. I hope I don't slip in. I'm... Oh. 
Oh my word! <laughs> yeah! Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, it just goes to show that perfect ice is hard to come by. And uh, it doesn't really matter though. This was a nice, nice little slice of paradise. Doesn't matter if it's a little bumpy and not the biggest rink you've ever skated on. It was still fun, you know? We got the boys together. We got the pucks out and uh, we, we had a good time. Uh, <laughs> Can you feel the sides of the ice wall? Wim Hof. You gotta embrace it. You gotta breathe to believe. I'm gonna, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna be a different temp, different uh, color. Okay, let me get out of here. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the videos, guys. The pool was cold. Uh, hit that subscribe button because we make new uh, hockey videos or whatever this was every single week. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. It is ODR season. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> cop some merch. We got it there in the, uh, the link below the video. We got a little banner. Get yourself some how to hockey merch. <laughs> a little bit cold. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little red there, white there. <laughs>